So today is another request, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, a very interesting request as well because he's kind of the forgotten francophone goalie star of the uh, 1980s in the NHL. Now we're going to talk today about the, the very, very well-respected Mario Lassard. Now, uh, Mario Lassard, born in East of Broughton, Quebec, uh, stood 5'9", 190, he came to major prominence again, and we're seeing a lot of players come from this squad in the uh, in the Q League, Sherbrooke Castell. Now, Sherbrooke Castell, he played uh, five seasons as a junior in the Q, the Q and he's, uh, his numbers were typical Q numbers, uh, a 4.2 to a 5.0 average, played 73 games over two seasons, and he was eventually drafted 154 overall in 1974 by the Kings, and 128 overall by the Nordiques. Now, the Nordiques has something in them that he could take up a lot of games as either a backup or a, a shared number one. Now, uh, he had a lot of seizing in the minors before he moved up to the Kings. He played 75 and 76 with the, the very, very popular Saginaw Gears of the IHL, put up some impressive numbers. <coughs> uh, 121 games over two seasons. Now, 77, he was back with the Gears and also had uh, four games with the Fort Wayne Comets. So, uh, his big breakthrough, of course, came for the uh, Springfield Indians, where he had 30 wins in 57 games in 78. Now, in 1980, he made it up with the big team, and he uh, ended up with, a, uh, with 50 games as the squad's number one. Now, he was kind of the unofficial uh, sequel to Rogesh Vachon. Now, uh, he played his entire career with the Kings. Uh, he uh, and he's also was a league leader in shutouts in 1979 for second best. Now, uh, Lazard was also an NHL second team All-Star in 81 and also appeared in that year's All-Star game. Now, Lazard's uh, excellence in the pipes uh, is best remembered for his contribution to one of the biggest ones in Kings history, the Miracle on Manchester. Now, this is a game in April 82 in which the Kings rallied from a 5-0 deficit to beat the Edmonton Lawyers by a 6-5 count. Now, early in overtime of that game, Lessard mishandled the puck 40 feet in front of his net as he attempted to beat Anderson to the puck and stop a breakaway. Now, with the net wide open and defensive and Mark Hardy trying to act as a goalie, the Oilers' Mark Messi shot the puck over the open net. Now, uh, the, the Kings scored uh, two la minutes later to win. Uh, and after the game, Lassard uh, lamented that his mistake nearly blew the amazing comeback. And uh, we know the Kings eventually, uh, again, won the series and stopped, uh, you know, Edmonton's uh, Stanley Cup uh, run, which started next year with a loss in the Islanders and the Flyers. Now, he did retire after the 84 season with some uh, really, really good stats. Although uh, a lot of people felt he could have played longer in the league. His best season, of course, was 81. We were 35-18-11 with a 3.25 uh, uh, goals against average. Now, official NHL uh, totals, 92-97-39 uh, in 39 to regular season, and 6-12 and in 20 starts in the playoffs. But again, a very underrated player, and he's part of that uh, big, uh, what do you call Francophone Q League goalie uh, legacy of the early '80s, and there was there was quite uh, there was quite a few. So that's the story of Mary Lassard. Again, please be, uh, give me a, a comment, like, or subscribe. Just remember that uh, players like this, when we do our podcast, uh, we're not just doing this as filler. These are players that meant a lot to different people in different regions of Canada or states. And Mario, uh, I think we we would have been given a chance with the Nordiques who would extend his career. But as you know, the cage in Quebec was uh, very complicated because when he had Dan Bouchard and Stefan Fisse and all these, uh, you know, young players coming up. I think uh, Mario could have easily played in the NHL, uh, at WHA uh, in the uh, late 70s. But again, there was, uh, there was tons of uh, goalies in the WHA. And uh, uh, from what my uh, buddies tell me, uh, in Saginaw, he was sort of like a hometown hero on the many levels because he used to play as many games as he did in Saginaw. Saginaw, Michigan is not only a country song, it's a great hockey town, as a lot of people know. Different parts of Michigan have uh, 
done uh, different strengths for pro hockey over the years. So that's the uh, the legend of Mary Lassard. Thanks for listening.